Hey folks, Matt here with Lake Erie Arms. I'm standing here with Chef Sheen and the Buckeye Boys. Yes, you heard that right. It's Chef Sheen and the Buckeye Boys. And they took first place in our league banquet today. Well, you guys did the uh, Triple Threat League, correct? Yes. And that's why there's three of you. And so uh, they took first place. Uh, go ahead, guys. Introduce yourselves real quick, and we'll talk about it. I'm Brad, known as Buckeye Boy number two. Sean, also known as Chef Sheen. Uh, Jim, Buckeye Boy number one. <laughs> Okay, okay, so you're so you're Chef Sheen, you're Buckeye Boy number one, and you're Buckeye Boy number two. Now explain the Buckeye Boys real quick. I mean, you're you're a chef, I assume. Yep. Okay, so you're Chef Sheen. No, not even a little bit. I work in a factory. Okay. You well, <laughs> Chef Sheen is his alter ego. Now, okay, let's so, let's let's be real for a minute though. Right behind you is what? Oh. Uh, yeah, I know you were trying to hide that. You kind of chickened out there at the last second. Okay, <laughs> so Chef Sheen is your alter ego. And the Buckeye Boys, explain, uh, go ahead, explain the, yeah. I, I like to get messed up and cook a bocce for my friends. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Well, that one was explained then. And the Buckeye Boys, you want to well, explain that? That kind of, we had a, a YouTube channel okay. that we, we named it and we never did anything with it. And that was the name. And I was just like, we were down here trying to figure out what our league name was going to be. And I was like, you know what? It's time. I was like, it's time to post out the Buckeye Boys, and Chef Sheen was, you know, pretty self-explanatory, so okay. we just, uh, that's how it came about. I like it. You cooking? All right. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's we, we are doing a video. Want to say hi to well, Eugene? Sorry. It's hey, what doing. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. All right. <laughs> so, I suppose you put on that hat, I guess it's going to raise some questions. Now, okay, tell me, tell me how you guys felt about the leak. Uh, how did it all go? Well, let's start with you here. I think it went pretty good. I mean, I, I, we all did the uh, team sidearm series, mm -hmm. and uh, that that was a good warm up for this because I, I like Jim asked me about doing the team sidearm, and I hadn't shot a gun in like a year and a half, yeah. and I just showed up and started shooting league like no, just cold turkey, and then we got into this, and I definitely think that I did better in this than the sidearm series, but it was it was fun so. Yeah, the new mean, guns helped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> new guns made a big difference. Why don't you pass that on? And what'd you think? Um, it was good. Like like he said, we all did the team sidearm together, and uh, I think you used a Canic for the team sidearm. Yeah. They used Canics. I used a Glock. And right before this started, me and Brad decided it'd be a good idea to buy two two six X five Legions because okay. our wives hate us. <laughs> Kitty, my wife loves me. She's a really good shot. Um, and Jim, you still stuck with the canic. Well, but pass the mic down. And we got to get we got to get Buckeye Boy Numero Uno talking a little bit here too. Yeah, uh, I like the challenge of the the new targets. It's not just your typical target, and you know you're shooting at yeah, you know a bird or you know you want to hit something specific instead of just that. And being able to push it towards the end there was pretty cool. I thought. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I think uh, so. So to be, you guys bought new guns. Did you all buy new guns? Well, actually. I did, but I got another Canic. Okay, okay. But you guys all upgraded to a certain extent with your guns, and you saw that elevated your. It was shooting rough a little the bit. First couple weeks. Okay. I definitely struggled the first two weeks. Like I, no, I was not shooting to my potential. Just learning mm -hmm. the gun, and then. I had Andy tune the trigger without his knowledge that I was shooting against him. Okay, Andy, and Gun Andy, Andy Gundolf really, Lake, uh, our gunsmith. Helped that out. And uh, Brad, you kind of just hit the ground running with yours. Yeah, yeah, I had that. I mean, it, it worked pretty pretty well for me out of the box. Yeah. And I liked it. I like, I don't, the canic was good, but I liked it. And uh, yeah, the league, I mean, the start of the league was crazy close. I mean, we, the first three weeks, I think we were within like 12 points of the second place team like they actually the second week they took the lead and then we got it back but yeah the first couple two to three weeks it took us a little bit to like all get rolling but once we all got rolling then we rolled pretty good it was yeah it was fun awesome. good time. which all right which one of you is the best shooter jim jim yep. so, jim me so so the guy with the least expensive guns the best shooter yeah okay yes. so <laughs> Here's the moral of the story, guys. You can spend money, you can become a better shooter, but the reality is, if you're the best, it's not going to matter how much money you spend, you're still going to be the best. So, yeah. yeah. There you go. Okay. 
Um, it's nice that they were able to say it. You didn't have to say it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he, uh, well, Jim definitely carried us the first couple weeks. Jim yeah. was, yeah, Jim carried us the first couple weeks. He was killing it, and like I said I wasn't shooting the best, and Brad, yeah. you were shooting good, but Jim definitely carried us. He's the MVP here. Thanks. There you go. Thanks, Chef. That's <laughs> why he chef. gets the chicken flipped to him in the garage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Okay, um, so I, I, they unveiled the upcoming leagues. I know you guys didn't get a ton of information right off the bat. Well, actually, you got a ton, but it was all really quick. Anything catching your eye right off the bat? There's not going to be any. There's no league for the three of you unless you guys do game night league or something, which you certainly could do. Anything sticking out to you guys right off the bat? Um, yeah, James doesn't want us to be together anymore. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying uh, to break up the dynamics. I think I'm going to uh, go for the Big Iron League. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's pr probably the only one I do for now. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to try a couple of them. I, I was interested in maybe doing uh, whatever the weekly one is. Like, maybe doing one or two of those. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Parabellum? Yeah. yeah. I thought about trying that. The big iron sounds pretty fun, but uh, I'm definitely excited to try some rifles, okay. too. And that sounds like fun. Uh, last, but sir, I'm sorry, go ahead. What, what did you have? Uh, probably just looking at Parabellum. Uh, I think yeah. that's looking interesting. Uh, take a look, check out the leagues. See what yeah, they're coming and I, out with. I'm sorry, I keep interrupting you, man. You're way down there, I can't even see you. Exactly. <laughs> you got one of the old school shirts on and everything, man. Yeah. How, how long have you had that one? <laughs> I don't know, at least five, six years. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm, I'm new around <laughs> here, so I was I was saw that the other day. I saw someone wearing, that might have been you, mm -hmm. and I was like, where can I get one of those? I need to find someone who has one of those in yeah, large That and the old Christmas shirts, bring them back. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> They'll have to do some of the runs of the old school ones. People like those. Um, okay, last but not least, you got a tattoo. I did. Now, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get a shot of this thing. Uh, explain the inspiration behind this tattoo right here. Um, well, we were joking <laughs> this <wouldn't be laughs> that if we won, that we were getting tattoos, and so far, one of us have done it. And <laughs> well, I mean, you're, you have to wear the hat. That, yeah. That was absolutely a thing. Yeah, the, that was happening, and uh, Brad's kind of scared of tattoos, well, but I've he's getting one. one. Yeah. I've never had one, so it's, uh, that would be a new territory for me, for sure. Yeah. I but, literally walked into the guy that does my tattoos, and I was like... I need you to get me in before the tenth. I have a tattoo that needs to be. Well, done. may as well give him a shout out. Who did your tattoo? Uh, Lucky Luke's in Fremont, Ohio. Okay, cool. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Um, okay, guys, do you have anything you want to add? No, thank nope. you. Nope, thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Yeah, thanks no, for putting the I, leagues on. I, They've been fun. It's a nice little getaway of once a week. Yeah. Just come up here and have some you fun with I mean? your friends. Cool. That's yeah, fun, and it's definitely elevated the pistol skills like, for sure yeah it's like, like, like you're, post -game yeah. With you and lebron yeah. james or something over here yeah I, I, it's crazy how much better you get when you just start shooting every week yeah consistently for and i mean we did three leagues each in the last like two months and uh man it makes a big difference it's helped a lot yeah i was coming up here three times a week yeah. once for the wife shooting iron maidens mm. we were shooting couples together and then for triple threat too so it was yeah. It was a lot of ammo. Yeah. Worth you, it. Did your wife enjoy it? Uh, yeah, she uh, actually got second in Iron Maidens. Oh, yeah, okay. So she killed it. She was doing really good. Awesome. Guys, I appreciate you uh, doing the interview with me here and talking with us for a little bit. Congratulations on first place and bragging rights. I know you're driving Andy crazy this entire <laughs> league. And, uh, that was so, the rumor we heard. Yep, yep <laughs> he's driving him crazy. But... Uh, Appreciate you folks watching. If you have any other questions, you want to take a look at our upcoming leagues, go ahead and follow that link in the description of this video. Thanks and have a great day.